Hey guys, Fathom here from the Network Tutorials, and I am bringing you a Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. I have 9.0, but you can do this in 8 as well. I'm not sure about anything below that. Um, this was requested by somebody on our channel comments, and he wants to know how to do basic color correction and overall just making the video look better. Um, so here I have my clips, just a nice no scope on pipeline. My friend Brandon supplied me the clip. Um, so basically what you want to start off with is I, I have a bunch of these already made but I will show you how to um, I'll show you how to put all these together and there's a, another video if you want to see how to get these where basically it's just um, a bunch of different effects put into one and then you can just add it so you don't have to re-add it and all the effects are you know all the properties of the effects are correct so I you know I have a bunch for different maps and stuff like I probably have one for specifically for pipeline to make it look better but I'll show you step by step what I do um, first you wanna make sure the videos cropped right I mean that's more of a simple thing also in the project properties um, let me see where it is it well first of all put the deinterlace method to interpolate fields because that gets rid of um, lines in the video. Um, for this part, I think you want full range, 32 bit. Let me make sure. Oh, it's running slow on me. Don't worry, guys, I'm getting a new computer soon. <laughs> um, and that just makes it look a little better. Alright, so now let's get to the effects. First, you just click on the video effects tab and I'm going to start off by using one that you probably don't have and I recommend you getting, but I'll also show you how to do it without this one. One one of my favorite effects is New Blue Film Look for color corrections. And so I'll just put it on the uh, reset, which is just, you know, the blank. And basically what this allows you to do is change the tint, saturation, brightness, contrast, film, gamma, and diffusion. I don't know if you know what all that means, but um, it... it just this effect alone really can make it look so much nicer. There's so much you can do with this effect. Um, so yeah, I would totally recommend you getting this. It uh, doesn't really matter how you get it. You probably should buy it. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> everyone knows how that is. Uh, so, you know, as you can see, I'm just fooling around. I'm not really trying to do anything good right now. But there's just a lot you can do with this. I will go further in depth with this if you guys ask for it, but I'm just not sure how many of you guys actually have this effect. So I'm not going to use this for this tutorial. Um, so uh, for this, I'm going to go to Color Curves. There's actually a few ways to make the video look better. First, we'll go with this one. This one's basically just contrast and brightness. And right there is the brightness. And then here is the contrast. So yeah, that this you can just do to sort of make the darkers darker and the dark darker. I, I'm, I'm just failing at talking. And the bright parts brighter. And, uh, you know, you can just fool around with this. And then also you can do each of these. But I've never really done much with these. As you can, you know, I like using the uh, the other effect that I showed you earlier. But then also you want to add a color corrector. I'll just do reset. Um, I'm going to put both on actually. So I'm just going to reset both of them to none. I'm going to up the brightness a little on this one. Well, first I'll leave this blank just to show you what this one I'm going to do. All right, so go over to your color corrector. And um, first I'm going to put the saturation up just a little bit because too much saturation just mm, looks cheesy. I don't know. But... It's always nice to have a little bit more, especially on a map like this. It just it looks nicer, it makes the grass greener, especially with camos. It makes camos look a lot nicer. The red tiger on the M40. Um, then gamma is a nice one. Put that up, but then you want to put the, uh, the gain down, or actually the other way around might look better. If you put this down more, yeah, there we go. And then the gain up a little, and then the offset you can mess with, but. Uh, it's not much. It's not much with that that you can do. So this looks pretty nice right here. I mean, it depends on what you're going for. I mean, you know, you can you can do a lot like you know, sort of make it look old or western or 
fiery, you know, there's a lot you can do, but right now I'm just showing you how to basically look at, make it look nicer. Uh, then you can mess with the uh, the colors, you know, if you want it to look more green, well, actually go with the mids. You can just drag this over to the green a little bit, or maybe do some yellow. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Or who knows, you might want to go with magenta. Uh, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> But I'm sure you can make it work. Blue, cyan, you know, you can. there's a lot you can do with this. So I'm just going to put this at a red and yellow mix. Orange, I guess you could call it. <laughs> and uh, that's just the mids. So then also lows and highs you can change. So I'm going to put the... That's not going to work. I'm going to put the lows to maybe a little bit of a bluish. See how that looks. Mm, maybe green. <laughs> no. Well, basically, you don't want to touch the lows too much. Now, for the highs, I'm probably going to do a little bit of yellow. All right, now I'm going to go over my color curves again, re-enable that. I'm going to leave the brightness where it is for now, and I'm going to put some contrast. And then I'm going to add a little bit of brightness. All right. So that looks pretty nice. And if you click on this little thing called split screen view, you can see the difference between the before and the after. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and then when you're done, here you can go to these effects. And what you do is you click on this, the plugin chain. And then you can click save as. And I'll save this as, uh, I don't know, pipeline. Uh, I don't know. Cool. Let's just go with that. And then you click save. And then OK. So then whenever you want to, you know, if you remove these, whenever you have a pipeline clip, all you have to do is click on this and find yours by typing P. And there's pipeline. Cool. Add it and click OK. And there it is. I'm going to deselect that. So there it is, guys. Um, any other Vegas tutorials? Vegas is what I'm best at. Um, I don't know. Or any tutorials? Leave them in the comments and we will try and get you to them. Because we really we really care about what you guys want, you know. We'll put out any videos that you ask for as long as it's reasonable and as long as we know how to do it. So, yeah, just tell us what you want to see and we will make it happen. So, see you guys next time. Um, subscribe.